The intrusion mechanics by both game masters and players is one of the most powerful tools in the Cypher system. For those familiar with narrative games like Fate, for example, intrusions are very similar to the complications of that system. For those not familiar with this concept at all, hold on to your butts! You're about to get your mind blown. Let's go through what an intrusion is, and then how it works slightly differently between players and game masters. Firstly, what the f*** is an intrusion? An intrusion is a way for someone to implement a sudden, not overly drastic change to the scene at hand. A surprise attack, a floorboard breaking, the door getting stuck, another NPC joins the fight just for that conflict, there's an entrance to the building that has been long forgotten. An intrusion is a way for someone in the game to create a sudden modification to the scene. Let's start with player intrusions first because they're a little more straightforward. When a player wants to introduce a change to the scene, they spend one experience point and declare the intrusion they want to happen. There is nothing that says the player intrusion takes any actions to use, or even have to be on their turn. If a player is willing to offer up the experience, an intrusion could happen at any time. It is up to the game master if the intrusion is accepted or not. Sometimes there may have to be discussions and compromise to settle on what the intrusion is, as there may have been some situations where the intrusion is not appropriate in the initial offer. If the game master says it's not the right time for an intrusion right now, or you can't find a compromise to fit it into the scene, then just give the player that experience point back and let them try something else instead. This next bit isn't a rule, just a bit of advice from me. I should note, as a game master, I personally suggest to try and work the player intrusions in if at all possible. I realize this can be hard for a GM that is new at this type of mechanic, especially if you've only come from RPGs with a more defined rigid player GM dynamic like Dungeons and Dragons, Shadowrun, Rifts, etc. I was lucky when I came across this mechanic because I had already played RPGs like Fate where a similar mechanic already exists. However, the ability for a player to spend a resource and temporarily gain some control over the scene like they're the GM, it's quite a shift if you have not experienced it. Learn to go with the flow. Cypher makes things so much easier on the Game Master by putting all those rolled mechanics on the players that it frees you up to react to narrative situations, like player intrusions. Now, on to GM intrusions, because players aren't the only ones that get this toy to play with. Similar to a player, a GM can do an intrusion on a particular player character. By default, the rules state that the GM would often explain what the intrusion is before it's resolved. However, since I play with mostly trusted friends that know I'm not there to screw them over, sort of, a point that VW Forever GM also mentioned in the Cypher Unlimited Discord, I sometimes like to keep the intrusion a mystery and will not declare what it is till afterwards, depending on the circumstance of the intrusion. If the player doesn't want the intrusion to happen, they may pay one experience point and deny the intrusion. I'm sure this is different for every group, however in the Cypher groups I've been involved in, players very rarely reject an intrusion. If they accept the intrusion, then the Game Master gives two experience points to the player. That player gets to keep one of those experience points, and gives the other experience point to another player of their choice. Usually one that is in some way connected or nearby to the intrusion, but that's not a requirement. Like the player intrusion, the GM intrusion is some sort of modification to the scene. That back door you wanted to escape through was actually bricked up long ago. A squeaky floorboard alerts the local guards! The attack that the giant monster just made against you didn't just hurt you, it made the monster swallow you whole. Alternatively, if an intrusion would affect more than just a couple of characters, then the GM can do a group intrusion. In this case, every character involved gains one experience point. Now, there are no written rules that I could find for rejecting a group intrusion like this. Although, as mentioned to me by Tattered King on the Cypher and Limited Discord, a group intrusion would likely be such a major adjustment to the scene, it's hard to imagine many groups wanting to reject it. Others that I've talked to, including members of the amazing Cypher and Limited Discord like Char, Tattered King, Copa Kindred, Ancient Albatross, Jacumus, hope I pronounced all your names right, they suggested some ways for players to reject it if they really wanted to. Like all players having to expend one experience point. 
or maybe just the group as a whole requiring a few experience points, up to half of the players maybe, but it doesn't matter from which characters. There are different ways you could handle this. As anyone that has played RPGs before knows, the rules as written come secondary to the rules as played. But in these videos, I'm trying to present the actual rules as they're presented in the book so that you can work off them for your own game and modify them as needed. This is normally where I hop into Foundry Virtual Tabletop to show you how to do the intrusion thing there. But honestly, I've already showed you how to do it in my video on experience points. So if you want to see how that works, go there. Now, intrusions. This is where I've seen some disagreement. Some game masters, like myself, love intrusions and see them as a tool to be utilized. Some GMs seem to despise them and perceive them as some sort of restriction to their GM abilities. As is true with all RPGs, there's no real right or wrong way to take these mechanics. What flows best with you and your group is the right choice. As long as you set expectations with your group, how you want to run these mechanics, and remain fairly consistent with that playstyle, you're good to go. Personally, I see intrusions as a way for the GM or player to modify a scene on the fly to create interest or drama, while supporting players with agency over flow of that drama through the gaining and expenditure of experience points. This way, a game master has a tool to use in the game to modify and balance scenes. Is a combat a little too easy for the players and you want to adjust it? Oh sure, you could just throw in an extra couple of baddies from nowhere, or have the floorboards break beneath the character, or any number of things. But it just feels to the players like you're just placing roadblocks in their way for the sake of doing so. With intrusions to place these things, you're giving them that agency to say, Hey, I'm going to make a change here. You can either expend resources and say no, or you can profit off of this while I make your life a little more interesting. On the flip side, I have seen people state how it removes some of the narrative control of the GM over the game. It puts agency more into the player's hands and removes some of the ability the GM has for controlling things. I don't personally agree with this. The GM doesn't always have to use intrusions, and even if they do, it's costing the players experience points to reject them, while denying themselves one of their primary avenues of experience generation, which in turn means it's still guiding the flow of the game through its resource management. However, I can see where people on the other side of this are coming from, especially if all you're familiar with are the normal, often crunchier RPG systems where the GM maintains such a high level of control over the game, oftentimes out of necessity due to the complexity of those systems. But Cypher, like Fate, is a little bit more of a collaborative narrative system. Although the GM is there to create the foundation that you're working off of, I feel like the story is sculpted as more of a cooperative manner. I would love to hear your thoughts about this below. What do you think of intrusions as a mechanic? Do you use them? Not use them? Like them? Dislike them? Not know what the hell I'm talking about because you came to this video thinking it was a strategy video for the character named Cypher in the game Valorant. Let me know in the comments below. And that's all I have on intrusions. Hopefully that gives you yet another tool in your toolbox that is the Cypher system. Stay healthy, stay safe, and have a good one out.